continued wait for Stranger Things Season 4 continues. It's been a long and hard wait due to various factors, not the least of which is and was the global pandemic that pushed many different projects back. But there have been teases from the team ever since the Hopper is Alive teaser from the beginning of 2020, and while we don't have a release date for it just yet, there is hope that we will get it soon. But given all the secrecy that the show has, what do we really know about it? Allow us to show you Stranger Things Season 4, 6 Things We Know So Far. Be sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel. Number 6. The Upside Down First up, let's talk about The Upside Down, the home of the Mind Flayer, the Demogorgon, and more. We know via set photos that The Upside Down will play a part in Season 4, but how much of one? What is it planning to do this time around to try and breach through? We've already seen some of its horrifying power in action, but is that just a taste of what's to come? One of the set photos seems to indicate that a trailer park is going to be a place that The Upside Down has influence over. What's more, one of the main teases for Season 4 is that a clock tower will appear in the realm, one that looks awfully similar to one from Hawkins. Just as important though, we still don't know a lot about the place or the Mind Flare as a whole, so perhaps Season 4 might be the one where we finally get answers. They haven't confirmed that to be clear, but fans would certainly love it given all that has come and been done by beings from that other dimension. Number 5. Hopper's Journey David Harbour has begun hyping up the new season and has said that his character, Chief Hopper, Hawkins' chief of police, will return to the show in the style of Gandalf the Grey from Lord of the Rings. He also teased a bigger season. While speaking to Collider, Harbour said, I mean, it's bigger, that's the first thing, in scope and scale, even in the idea that we're not in Hawkins anymore. We, locale-wise, we're bigger. We're introducing new stuff, but we're also tightening and wrapping up in a certain direction to make it have a clear, clean, specific, and definite ending at some point, which I can't really talk about. He added, I can talk about Hopper, I guess I can say this about a lot of seasons, but it's my favorite season, in the sense that he's at his purest, he's at his most vulnerable in a sense. He's been, as we've seen, he's in this Russian prison, so we get to reinvent him in a sense. He gets to have a rebirth from what he had become, and we'd always sort of plan this almost resurrection of you have Gandalf dies, Gandalf the Grey reemerge, and I'm really interested in this resurgence of him. We get to explore a lot of threads in this life that have merely been hinted at and we get to see a lot more of. And there's some real surprises that you know nothing about that will start to come out in this and play big as the series goes on. So clearly he knows some things that'll go and change everything on certain scales as well as some of the backstories we'll get to experience. But what else did the stars have to say? Number 4. Sadie's Warning Sadie Sink has been going through a lot of work between her being on Stranger Things as well as the new Netflix series Fear Street. She was able to give a look into the production of Stranger Things, a much delayed season. So we started filming season 4. I don't even know when it was, but it was before the pandemic. And then we got like a month of filming done, then we had to stop for I guess 7 or 8 months, and then we came back to work and things were completely different. So I think the real challenging part was just adjusting to the new rules and the regulations that were in place on set. That was a big adjustment. But yeah, I think we were all just so grateful to be able to work. And we've been working for a while now and creating something really amazing. As for her warning, that would be that this season will have the highest stakes yet. The scale of the show just gets bigger and bigger each year. So yeah, it's just been really incredible to see where they're going with the storyline. It's really amazing this year and just how the stakes are just so much higher, higher than they've ever been. That's a big thing to note given that the first three seasons weren't exactly small in scale per se, given that we're talking about Russian invaders, paranormal threats, and various kinds of flesh monsters at the mall. Just saying. But if this is to be taken literally, then this might truly be the biggest season yet. Number 3. New Confirmed Characters Some new faces are headed to Hawkins, Indiana. Netflix has announced four new cast members for the hotly anticipated fourth season in the form of Amy Beth McNulty, Miles Truitt, Regina Ting Chen, and Grace Van Deen. The news came as part of Netflix Geeked Week, a virtual event revealing first looks at Netflix's genre programming. Coverage included a video with creators the Duffer Brothers on set for Season 4, introducing McNulty, who caught their eye in her role as Anne in CBS's Anne with an E. She'll be playing Vicky, described as a fast-talking band nerd and apparent love interest to one of the main cast. 
Truett, known for his role as Issa Williams on the CW's Black Lightning, will play Patrick, a popular basketball star whose life is changed by shocking events. Chen, who played Catherine Naki on USA's Queen of the South, will play Ms. Kelly, a caring beloved guidance counselor. And Van Deen, best known for her role as Katie Campbell in NBC's The Village, will play Chrissy, the lead cheerleader harboring a dark secret. They'll join previously announced new cast members including Jamie Campbell Bauer, Eduardo Franco, Joseph Quinn, Tom Vlachia, Sherman Augustus, Mason Dye, Nicola DiRico, and Freddy Krueger himself, Robert England. Stranger Things has a very good habit of making all the characters, big and small, feel important in certain ways, so if they're bringing in all of these characters for season 4, well that means something is going to happen to them, and with the characters we already know… Number 2, Eleven is in trouble. One of the biggest cliffhangers of the season 3 finale was the future fate of Eleven. After the loss of Chief Hopper, the buyers take her in and they leave Hawkins together. Furthermore, her powers aren't working anymore, leaving her abilities in question for the future. Which doesn't bode well given a snapshot from the set of the show. In the snapshot, the actor can be seen lying on a stretcher as two paramedic looking type men wheel her out of an undisclosed building. One of the first responders appears to be holding an oxygen mask to the youngster's face, so it seems safe to assume that Eleven was in some kind of perilous situation in a scene prior to the sequence that they were filming that day. So what does this mean? Well, it's possible that she tried to use her powers but couldn't and it hurt her. Or she was attacked by something from the upside down. Or maybe this is a side effect of her losing her powers. It's honestly hard to say. That being said, perhaps her medical state will get her to experience flashbacks, which would tie into the teaser that asked, Eleven, are you listening? Showing more of her time as a lab rat and maybe learning something new in the process. Number 1. The Epicenter The title of Season 4's opening episode is The Hellfire Club. Not too long ago, Stranger Things' Twitter account started teasing the club, raising speculations among fans about what kind of club it is. The description of Joseph Quinn's character Eddie Munson provides an answer. Eddie is an audacious 80s metalhead who runs the Hellfire Club, Hawk and High's official D&D club. Hated by those who don't understand him and beloved by those who do, Eddie will find himself at the terrifying epicenter of this season's mystery. A very interesting thing which also raises the question of why him? What makes him the epicenter? What role will he have to play in what's to come? We do know though that certain characters have been tied to the Upside Down in bad ways in the past. Is this just the latest example of that? Again, we still don't know the release date for season 4, but given the rapid fire nature of things in terms of the teases and picks from the set coming out, we might not have to wait too much longer. So what do you think? What do you think of this look at Stranger Things season 4 and the few things we honestly know about? Are you surprised that such details have already been released? When do you think we'll get the first true trailer for the season? And do you expect more teases right up until the release of it all? Let us know in the comments below, be sure to subscribe and we'll see you next time on the channel.